Hi and welcome to Ukulele 2, the online course. Today we're going to talk about the uh, this is actually the last section for the music theory and transposing uh, for this course. Yeah, so if you want to go ahead and get the transposing key chart at this time and then uh, come on back. So go ahead and pause the video and go get it, come on back and we'll be starting in a few seconds. Okay, so what we did today is we, uh, I wrote the, on the board, um, shorter version of what you're seeing on the chart. So, see on the chart here, it's got at the top some Roman numerals, Roman numerals. Beneath that, I got major, minor, minor, major, minor, minor, major, dominant seven, minor, etc. And then first line, first line, key is C. First line, Q, C, okay? Then I skip a couple of lines below that. So I skip some lines below that and I jumped to the key of G, key of G. So today we're gonna to be talking about uh, the key of C, the key of G, and how it relates to theory. So, um, we talked about earlier in how um, the one four five chord, the one, the four, and the five seven chord uh, were very important to understand and and know what they mean, and that's because the one four and five chords are basically the strongest chords that are the backbone of, of most music. In fact, in all not all but in majority of the songs that we played so far, especially in ukulele one. The majority of the chords, and take it for example, the key of C, have been new one, four, five. For instance, the key of C, which were many songs that we played in ukulele one, uh, you recognize the C, the F, and the G7. You've seen them, you've played them a lot, and you notice they fall in that pattern of the one chord, the four chord, and the five, seven chord. And that's why you can kind of see like why it's so um, strong in the song when you've played them and, it, uh, and you, you can recognize them because you've played them a lot and uh, once again it really helps to hold the song together the one four and five now at this time we want to make an adjustment to your transposing key chart so if, if you uh, got it go ahead and what you can do is write a seven for all the chords in that column the five seven column. So what I did was I went ahead and wrote in the seven for G seven and D seven and that five seven dominant five seven column. Okay so at this time um, you want to write in just the number seven for that column the dominant seven column for every letter for every chord just writing in a seven. Okay because every time we're going to play that you're going to probably play a 5-7 chord. So in the key of C, that will turn to a G7. In the key of G, that will turn to a D7. Okay. Now, knowing where your 1, 4, and 5 really helps you to form an idea of uh, how the song is structured and um, uh, how the strong song is kind of made up. So it'd be a good idea to write in the Roman letters above the chords that you previously played. So to help you understand and get a better idea. In fact, so what I did was taking a song here that we've played before. Okay, and as you can see, I wrote in, this is in the key of C, about key of C, I wrote in right above it, I wrote the one chord. Then we came to an F chord, I wrote right above it, I wrote the four chord. And then down here, the G7, I wrote in the five seven. Now if you notice, I didn't write in all the Roman numerals for all the chords. I'm going to leave that up to you. So you go ahead and find a piece of music in your previous works that you've done and go ahead and write in the, the one, four, 
and the 5 7 chord according to the key. And you can use this chart, okay, to figure out uh, what the key is. Usually, the first chord at the beginning of the music will be the key that uh, you're going to be using. So, these are all the keys, and when you come to the music, the first chord that you see will be the key that the song is in. Keep in mind that's only pertaining to the music that we've kind of done so far. If you get into more advanced music, it might get a little more um, complicated, but not much more. Okay, so up to this point, if you found that a little bit difficult, a little unclear, you want to back up the tutorial and listen to that section again before moving on, okay? So if it's a little unclear, you need to hear it again, how many ever times it takes, back it up, listen to it again. If not, we're going to move on. Okay, so moving on, we see other Roman numerals which are smaller Roman numerals. So once again, the large Roman numerals are your major chords. It's right underneath this is major, one chord major, four chord major, big Roman numeral, dominant seven, five chord, five seven chord, okay? It's a big Roman numeral. In between that, and I'm just going to take part of it, I'm not going to go all the way down. In between that, you have minor chords, okay? If you look on your sheet, okay? You'll see like minor chords. Minor chords. Okay, so what I'm going to do at this time is I'm going to just erase these lines in between because you know that uh, we're only talking about C and G on your transposing key chart. This will just make it a little easier to see what I'm about to do so that a little clearer all right so what we're going to do now is we're going to write in the minor chord so when you're looking at the top there you'll see like roman numeral two roman numeral small two it says minor so you're going to this chord is actually in the key of c it's a minor e same thing it's a minor moving on down here's an a minor small roman numeral six it's a minor chord, okay? Now, up to this point of the chorus, you've already learned the D minor chord, so you know how to play D minor. You've already learned how to play the A minor chord, so you know how to play A minor. You did not learn the E minor chord yet, but it's coming up real soon, okay? Jumping down to the key of G. So if you're playing a song in the key of G, your small Roman number two, which is right after G, a, A is now an A minor, okay? Small Roman numeral number three, which follows A minor after G, so G, A, B minor, it's a B minor. Once again, you know these two chords because you learned them already. Moving on down, come to the small minor six card, small six card, uh, Roman number six. It's a minor chord, this is an E minor. Okay, you didn't learn it yet, but you're about to learn it real soon in the upcoming lesson. So this is basically, I'm not going all the way down. I'm going to cover the rest later on. But uh, briefly, this is like the, kind of like the family of chords within the key of C. So if we're just talking about the key of C, just the key of C, each one of these are keys, okay? We're just talking about the key of C only, only C right now. In the key of C, the family so far would be a C major, the next chord would be a D minor, the next chord would be an E minor, next chord, number four chord would be an F, the five seven chord, the five chord would be G7, six chord would be A minor, etc. etc. So you can kind of see how it follows. Remember we talked about the alphabet system? You see how C, then D is after C in the alphabet. E comes after D. What comes after E in the alphabet? F. What comes after F in the alphabet? G. And we talked about in music, when if you come to G, you have to restart from the beginning and start from A. So you start from A again and you continue the alphabet system. A, 
what comes after A, B, what comes after B, C, etc. Okay, and then in the key of G, in the family of chords in the key of G, G is your one chord, your two chord, minor, A minor, your three chord, minor, B minor, the four chord, major because it's big, C major, five seven chord, D seven, E minor chord. Okay. Now, at this point, if you need to back that section up and uh, listen to it again, by all means do so, um, if it's a little unclear. Keep in mind that this was the last section for the music theory and uh, transposing. Um, however, if you did uh, get the um, ukulele premium service package, uh, it goes more into depth <coughs> about music theory and transposing. Now, for instance, if you like to write or if you would like to write your own music, okay, uh, this would be very beneficial to you in understanding how the chords work together so that you can use the chords together and how, how they work together to write your own music, to write your own songs. And by being able to understand <clears throat> how they work within a family or within a key, you can write your own music. Uh, another thing is that if uh, you would like to, or if you like to, figure out music that you maybe, let's say, hear. So let's say you uh, hear a song on iPod, or, or you have a CD, or whatever. You hear a song, you like to figure it out, you get the rough idea that it's in the key of C, or, you, or maybe the key of G, whatever. Here's the family of chords that helps you to learn it. So in other words, in the supplement for theory, it gives you uh, more information about how to figure out songs and how chords work together and how they're structured to understand. So in other words, if you, if you understand the basic floor plan of how music works, then you can kind of, you know, get to understand how a song is put together or how a song is structured so you can figure out the, the chords to, to the song that you're wanting to learn. Okay, so um, once you kind of got this um, a little more comfortable in understanding, this will be your basic, up to this point, this will be a, your basic introduction to music theory and uh, transposing. So when you're ready for the next lesson, we'll see you then.